So I am one. Uh, a few of my videos, you see me use my phone with a leash, and I got a couple questions on how to make this, and I said I was gonna go ahead and make a video on how to make this because it's completely DIY, and you can see it works perfectly fine. I know at least a few handful of people that actually lost their phones taking pictures of their fish and you know losing your phone in a tournament pretty much puts you out the race so I'm going to show you how to make this leech over here and what I'm going to use is shock cord I got this at REI at 38 cents a foot I had it around 10 foot because I made a few of these already okay um, I use heat shrink right here, braided line, and I got these lanyard snaps over here. I have something that's actually different on my leash, but I got this at a craft store, which was only like three bucks for six of them. So you can use a key ring, you can use any type of snap locks, um, but for this uh, DIY tutorial, I'm gonna use these right here. So. Oh, and you need a, a useless uh, plastic card like this one over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how this leash works. I take out my phone and you take a look right here. You make a mount right here. This mount goes into your charging port of your phone. And I take the shock cord and I make it a loop and I tie it around this mount over here or the latch, whatever we're gonna call it. And I tied it up really really tight with braided line used heat shrink to make it a little bit clean and now it's as you can see it's pretty solid I do it to the other side as well okay and I take this side and I put it into my case of my phone and as you can see put it through all the way through and that little T bracket thing that I made goes inside right here and it holds on to your case, okay? And then you'll put your phone back in and it is now tight. Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the card right here, okay? You make a car, a uh, piece of plastic and you can cut this out as, as best as you can for your phone and as you can see I'm just eyeballing it because I've done this a few times but with yours you can get a card you can do as much trial and error as you can and you have enough card to make a few a few of them okay so now I got this card right here and where's my phone case I want to make sure that this uh, the card over here uh, it doesn't look even. You want to make sure that it fits through your case, okay? As you can see, it fits through mine right here. See how that works? Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a hole right here, and I can use drill but I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna use uh, a pocket knife over here. And I don't want to make a hole in my desk, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this spool. And I'm gonna hold it down with a knife and just turn this around. Okay. And you go to the other side, when you go through, and just turn it around, okay? And take your knife and just work your way and make it a hole a little bit bigger. And do on both sides. Now you, if you have a drill, more power for you to go ahead and use it. Make it nice and clean. As you can see this way, I'm just using what I have running on my desk and I have a pocket knife, okay? Clean up all the burrs. Okay. All right, so you're gonna get your shock cord over here, okay? And your shock cord, one end, you're gonna go ahead and put it through. The hole, like so. And then you're gonna bend it. 
and you're gonna get your braided line over here and then you're gonna cut out a nice generous piece gonna fold the shock cord like so I'm gonna make a one big um, knot okay like this and I'm gonna take this shock cord and bend it in half make a loop and then tighten it up okay and what I do is I actually hold this end right here this tag end right here and then just start going downtown and wrapping it and you want to do it tight okay think as tight as you can and tie it up with some half hitches cut off these tag ends you don't need them anymore and as you can see what it looks like it doesn't look pretty but I can assure you that thing is tight okay ain't going anywhere all right where is my heat shrink? Here goes my heat shrink right here. Okay, I'm just gonna cut off just enough that covers this whole loop over here. So, and the size heat shrink I'm using is quarter inch to one eighth. I want to make the heat shrink tube that covers this end and that end. So let's say about right there. That looks about right, right? Gonna get the heat shrink tube and go through one end and then just slide it all the way through. All right, you're gonna get your lighter right here and you're gonna shrink it down. Ooh, it's hot. There, that thing is tight, okay? Now you're gonna go with the other end over here. And depending on what type of ring you're gonna use, um, you may want to put the ring first and then tie your loop. But with mine, because these latch, these lanyard latches are open at one end, I don't have to, but um, let's say that I have a, a latch that I'm gonna use that doesn't have an open access and, okay, an open, and the loop. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in right now and just show you how I'm gonna do this. But first, we need to get our shrink, heat shrink tube. Don't forget the heat shrink tube, otherwise you're gonna unravel your loop with the braided line and then do it all over again, okay? So get your heat shrink tube, cut it. Let's put it all the way through. Okay, let us not. Get your locking latch and just put it through. Okay, hold it tight on one end. Make a knot on your braided line. Make a loop on your shock cord. And let's go ahead and tie it down. Okay, and let's go downtown with the wraps. And I'm gonna tie my half hitches. There you go. Cut off your tags. Get your heat shrink tubing. Follow it through. And let's go ahead and shrink it down. And that's it. A lot of you guys are have uh, NRS uh, ch Chinook, so you'll probably have some type of latch over here like I do. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone over here. And just tether it down. I mean, you can put it into one of these zippers or wherever, or even on here, you know? But uh, dude, it works perfect. And because it's a shock cord, um, look. And it'd be long enough to take a picture. <laughs> so that's how you make a cell phone tether for